Welcome to our video demonstration of how mesh surface can be used with the data from long range scanners. First of all, you make sure that you have the right version. It has to be 6.0.14 on higher. And this option is available only in premium version of the software or if you have evaluation copy. To download our latest version, just visit meshsurface.com. If you have the version installed, when you go to open menu, you will be able to see a PTX point import. Most of the long range scanners can export their data into the PTX file format. When opening the file, you will see an options. So the software automatically will convert the imported points into meshes. You can use the automatic maximum match length or custom match length. Also, you can provide and change the units of how the data come into Rhino. After the import, you can render this as this is converted to a, a mesh. If you have a scan which contains multiple point clouds, they will be imported into the scene. Once loaded, they are imported as a mu multiple meshes but the whole scene is visible on the screen. So if you click, you can see the different scans selected. In order to continue further, you just select all, and then you can choose group objects. Now you can open mesh to surface and work as normally. You can put it in different views. You can start extracting primitives. Then you can set it up to vertical. You can also go and mark the bottom part to extract the base plane. You can use automatically alignment tools to place the object into the right coordinate system. Pressing twice will flip the orientation. And when you're done you can transfer all the primitives in Rhino and continue modeling there. Thank you for watching.